Hello again YouTube. I've been asked to do another video review on some of the equipment that I use and this time it's my uh, Wild Country Zephyros 1 by Terranova. It's a single person backpacking tent that I think is really really good for the money that you pay for it. Uh, basically it's a, a pitch all in one design so you're not going to get all the interior wet which in this country is brilliant because you never know when the rain's going to turn up. You've got a, an overall pack weight of 1.57 kilo, that's from Terranova's website, or Wild Country website, sorry. Um, the hydrostatic head of the fabric on the tent, you've got a, a PU polyester ripstop, 4,000mm on the fly, and the same but 6,000mm on the floor, so you're not in any danger of getting wet from that. You've got a single 8.5mm Superflex alloy pole, which is just that one there. Like I said, it's just a single hoop, single pole design. But uh, at the ends, you've got two little fiberglass rods which stop the tent from, well, basically give it a bit of shape and stop it from just flapping around all over you. So uh, what I'll do, I'll go outside now. I'll get it all pitched up for you. Maybe do it on a time lapse. Um, get some of my kit inside, my um, X-Bed mat that I'll use, and I've actually bought my uh, Snug Pack Elite 2 sleeping bag, which is going to be my me, me bag that I'm going to be using from now on, really, which is going to be sort of April through to about autumn time. So uh, that's going to be like a general idea of what I'd usually have in there. Uh, I'll get my stove in there, I'll uh, get a brew on, show you that you can cook inside the porch, some dimensions with the tape measure, what have you. So uh, yeah, I'll get outside, get it all pitched up and uh, get a walk around. Right, now we've got that up, I'll give you a quick little walk around. So you've got the double guide point that I've made there, and another double guide point that I've put on there. I just think it works a little bit better than a single one just going straight out so uh, you know what I mean you can spread out like a spider's leg or if you've not got much room to pitch or weird pitching spots you know what I mean it's, it's ideal really so walk around this way there's inside your porch but like I said I'll get all my kit inside in a minute and just show you that you you can cook in there if needs be just around the other side and what I've done I've just put a little strap going over there down I mean you can tie it onto either that peg or that peg there or just make yourself a piece of elastic really or something just to keep the door back because that's the only problem with this it's not got a little toggle tie back or anything for the door or at least mine hasn't got one on it the new updated ones maybe the, the new light version which is a uh, different materials different fabrics to this one it's supposed to be uh, even better that might have one as well but uh, we'll see so what I'll do I'll get my kit in now and uh, show you inside with some measurements. Right, well, I thought before I put all my stuff in that I'll just give you a little measure so you can probably get a better idea of the size. Right, so the length all the way across is 56 inches or 1 meter 45. Uh, the width of the porch. It's 500 millimetres or 50 mil 20 inches. And the length of the inside, now it does go to like a little point at the very edges, but nothing major. Uh, 2 metres 20 or 86 inches. The height is 35 inches or 900 millimetres. Uh, the height at the ends, you're talking 18 inches. Yeah, 18 inches the same, which is 450 millimetres. So what I'll do now, I'll uh, get my kit in and uh, show you. Well then, got all my kit in now. So uh, once again, then I've uh, I've got my Xbed Simmat UL7, the long and wide version, which is. 197 by 65 by 7 centimetres thick. Me Snug Pack Elite 2 bag and also boiling away my little fire maple uh, titanium stove, an X mug, a near as damn it 1 litre fuel bottle, uh, MSR skillet down the back, Deuter 42 litre pack which is just tucked away and hidden around the side there so yeah that's me in 
just hidden away. We're on the go. We've got a good bit of space around the back still. Good bit of space there to show that, do you know what I mean? You're, you're quite a distance away from there, so you're not going to burn anything. It's quite nice and cosy in here, if I'm honest with you. So, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think what else I can probably show you. We've got a nice bit of room at the feet end. Spot to hang my torch up, if there's any battery left, yes. It's got a nice tight inner and half decent spacing away from the fly, so you shouldn't really get a lot of condensation. I mean, I don't seem to have much problem with condensation, if I'm honest with you, but that's because I have my vents open quite a lot of the time. I don't like it all stuffed up. I like a little bit of air moving around. So it's been times before when I've even slept with this all the way open, you see, and just closed down the main door. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to sit here. I'm going to enjoy my brew. I'm not going to use my skillet, though, because I've already had something to eat. But, um, yeah, I'm uh, quite chuffed with this little tent. It's brilliant. And I'd highly recommend anybody that's after a backpacking tent with about £100 to spend to have a good look at this and the blade. This, I'd say, is a little bit more spacious than the blade, only because of the design and the shape of it. Still both really good tents, but uh, yeah, I do like this one. It's a really good tent, this is. So my advice to anyone would be, if you want a, an ACT, ATCO, a laser comp sort of style tent for about 100 quid, you do a hell of a lot worse than this. If there's anything else that I've forgot or anything else you want to add into this, then let me know and I'll only be too happy to do it. Cheers, then.